This was me during the summer. And this is me right now. I've recently been in my winter uglies era, so I'm gonna do everything I can in the next 24 hours to give my winter self a makeover. As you could tell by my hair, I have not gotten my roots touched up in so long. I don't know what happens during the winter time, but I stopped getting my hair done. I took off my acrylics. My skin is breaking out. I'm pale and I don't know how to dress cute during the colder months. I don't think the best version of myself exists outside of the summertime, but I definitely want to get a lot closer to that. So in the next 24 hours, I'm going to be doing an extreme makeover and I'm so excited. This is very much needed. So I I am so excited for this and I'm gonna be filming over the next 24 hours. So this time tomorrow, we should have a huge transformation. I'm gonna start this video by cleaning up a little bit. I'm gonna make my bed and set up my bathroom so it's super cute and I can put all my products out. I feel like having a clear space clears my mind and lets me relax and focus. So we're gonna start with this first. the vibes right now. It's already pretty much dark out and I love nighttime lighting and lighting my candles. I have a couple scents going right now. Lavender is my favorite though. Since I have a bathtub at this new apartment, which I missed so much at my last apartment, I've really been trying to take advantage of it. So at least once every other week, I like to reset, have a nice bath night. I'll have my candles set up. I'll do a face mask. So I definitely want to do that tonight. So I am going to set up my bath right now. I love bubble baths. So every time I get in the bath, I always put a ton of soap to make bubbles. Like ever since I was little and it was bath time, taking bubble baths was the most fun thing ever. It never wore off. I do it every single time I take a bath. So I'm gonna do that and make it super cute in here. As I said earlier, I already took an everything shower today. So I am just gonna put my hair up in a hair clip tonight so I don't wash it in the bath. But I am trying to decide, so I really wanna use a bath bomb tonight. This is my first time using a bath bomb in years because I haven't had a bathtub since I lived at home. So I have these two that I've had for a while. They're so pretty. I don't know which one to choose. This one is really pretty. It kind of looks like an aura, but I feel like this one kind of matches today's video. I don't know why, maybe it's the pink. It looks like cotton candy. It's so cute. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. I love bath bombs. They're so fun. They make the water so pretty. didn't really turn the water any color. I was expecting it to look like a galaxy in here. When I am getting ready for bed, I try to put on the most amazing scents and just smell like the best I could possibly smell when going to sleep. Recently, I've been obsessed with the Sol de Janeiro. I like the orange one. This Bum Bum Cream in this color is my favorite. This is their best scent. I've smelled the pink one. This one's my favorite. So I literally put this everywhere. I put on a lavender moisturizer. I just changed into a comfy outfit. I have on these really cute comfy shorts and then a long sleeve top. My essential for winter is my heater. I absolutely hate being cold. I'm so unproductive when I'm cold. So I am gonna blast my heater. Today's video is sponsored by Audible and I am so excited for this because as part of my wellness routine, especially at night recently, I have been playing audiobooks. Whether I'm taking my everything shower or doing my skincare routine, it's been so satisfying to have something playing in the background. Audible has a huge selection of audiobooks from a ton of different genres. I gravitate towards wellness and motivation, especially at night to end my day. So recently I've been listening to Atomic Habits, which I've heard so many good things about. So I I love 
love having this playing while I use my products and unwind from a long day. So you guys can try out Audible for free with the link in my description, which is audible.com slash Yarell. So definitely check it out and thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. So there is one more thing on my list for tonight to do as part of this glow up and I want to do it tonight so that I wake up tomorrow and start my day with this already done. If you guys have seen me do my makeup routine, which I've done a lot on this channel, you would know I have literally no natural eyebrows. I have filled them in every day for so long using my favorite Anastasia brow powder. It is just the one step of my makeup routine that has always been consistent. Like some days I don't wear face makeup, some days I don't wear eyeshadow, but I always fill in my eyebrows. But what I have done in the past, which helped me save so much time during my routine in the morning and made me feel very confident without makeup was to dye my eyebrows using beard dye. So that is what we're gonna be doing tonight. This is a really cheap and easy way to have a glow up at home. So it's pretty much always a part of my reset routine. So I definitely wanna do it tonight so that we can take advantage in the morning. So I am gonna mix together the dye, get my eyebrows prepped by taking off my makeup and we're just gonna get to it. Usually what I do is put on a couple coats of the dye. So right now I have the first coat on. It looks like I just filled in my eyebrows as normal. So it is gonna darken as it dyes my eyebrows and my skin. And then I'm gonna take it off and repeat a couple times so that they get dark enough to where I'm not gonna have to fill them in. I'm gonna use the waxing strips to like shape my eyebrow and use it as like a stencil to dye my eyebrows in here so that it's the perfect shape. We are really transforming these eyebrows and I'm doing this all myself for like the lowest cost possible. And lastly for tonight, since my nails are so damaged from my acrylics since I got them off, I like to put on press-ons while they heal. So I had this really cute set, just makes my nails look so much nicer and polished. Good morning, it is the next day. I have been waking up a lot earlier the last couple days. So this morning I woke up at seven. I am so good. So last night I put on these press-ons. I took off my acrylics recently so my natural nails are so damaged. So I just wanted to put something on while they heal. I had these press-ons, they're not the cutest design ever, but they'll work and they definitely make my nails look a lot better. So I have those. And then I also dyed my eyebrows, which makes a huge difference. Like I don't have any makeup on right now, but my eyebrows are dark like they're filled in they're present they're here so i'm exhausted i just had my coffee i still have on my pajamas my sweatpants my slippers and then this comfy long sleeve top and i want to try some new skincare methods this morning i think this is really going to wake me up so for a while now i've seen on social media where people get a huge bowl and fill it with ice and water and dip their face in and it's always looked really interesting to me people have talked about the benefits and it was always kind of enticing to me because i love the feeling of cold skincare products like my facial roller or i keep like my acne cream in the fridge so when I put it on it's really cold and it feels good but my face submerged in a bowl of ice I don't know if I really think that sounds good but this morning we're gonna try it I'm pretty excited because I feel like this is gonna wake me up maybe it'll feel really refreshing and I don't know we're just gonna see how it goes feeling nervous. So here it is, the ice bowl. Oh my God, look at it. Ah. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm. Oh, that is freezing. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I'm gonna try and do it a couple times and just dunk my face because I don't think I can hold it under. That was better. put it in it's shocking and like it's taken me a couple dunks to kind of warm up to it like you kind of get used to it not really but like I feel like the more times I'm dunking my face the longer I can go each round when I lift my face out like it feels good it feels kind of tingly it's hard because I'm trying to relax my face when I submerge it but it's like as soon as I feel the cold I'm like 
I'm like so tense, but I'm trying to like go in and just relax. I definitely prefer the method of just doing a couple dunks. Like I could not hold my face under there for more than like five seconds. Wow, that was a good one. I could feel my brain freezing. But it felt pretty good, like my skin definitely feels tighter and I like it. So I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare without the ice. I'm just gonna use my products. I think I'm gonna bring this downstairs and submerge some of my facial rollers and like my lip products in here so that when I apply them, they're super cold. I feel like that'd feel really good. I've always wanted to get a skincare fridge so that I can have it right in my bathroom on the counter and just have all my products in there. I think I'd prefer that over the ice dunk. through the screen. It smells so good. So I just finished getting ready and I just made some avocado toast. This is like the best avocado toast I've had in so long. I did my skincare and I did my makeup. I've honestly just been doing my makeup really light recently. I feel like all the foundations I've used have been so heavy and then my powder just doesn't set it and it feels like it's just smearing around all day long and I don't like that. So I have been working on just wearing some concealer and a couple cream products like contour and blush and then I set it with powder and I feel like it's the perfect amount of coverage. I like it a lot. So that is what I did today and then I got dressed. I am wearing a tank top, this little sweater it has holes in it it's not warm at all and then jeans i do not know how to dress cute and warm this time of year but today i don't need anything too warm because i'm just going to an appointment i am so excited i am finally gonna be getting my hair done i know I'm sure you guys saw this coming in this video because that is pretty much the main thing I've talked about. Like, I don't know what goes on during winter, but I just quit doing my hair and I was going lighter and lighter and lighter this summer. So now my roots are so grown out and it's just not good. I feel like when you get your hair done, it transforms your entire look. Like if my makeup looks really good and I have the cutest outfit on, but my hair doesn't look cute, I feel like it just ruins the look, you know? Like I feel like hair just plays a big role in your appearance but then the opposite like if my makeup's not very good or my outfit like isn't very cute like today but my hair looks really nice and shiny or it's styled really cute I feel like that just transforms the entire look you know what I mean so I think doing this today will become like the biggest part of this transformation and also for the most part in this video I have done this entire glow up at home so this is one of the only things I'm actually going to get done which is saving money like this is a more affordable glow up I really try to do as many things myself as I can to save money but I can't do my hair and I gotta do something about this so I am gonna be heading over there That was so necessary. Like, I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. My hair looks so much better. Look at the roots. They're fixed. Goodbye to my ugly winter hair. It looks so much better. It feels so much better. It's soft. My bangs are cut. I also love getting highlights and getting my hair done because when she washes my hair, it feels so good. I don't know what she does. Like, I swear, I buy a lot of really good hair products on this channel and use them, but my hair never feels as amazing as it does when I get out of the salon. I feel so much better, honestly. All I need is my tan. Um, definitely can't tan in this weather. Just 
for now i have on something really cute i'm very matching with the pink like everything kind of goes together here is what i have on it's giving pink pilates princess and i love it but i'm not going to work out i have on this sports bra that i'm so obsessed with it actually goes like a racer back, which usually I don't like, but it's so comfortable. And then I have on this pink long sleeve top, very comfortable and cute. I put on these like low rise yoga pants, they're gray. I have my matching pink water bottle and my matching pink phone case. I don't know if you could tell what my favorite color is. So I am so obsessed with this outfit. I also did my eyeshadow a little bit differently, put like some darker colors and then this really sparkly color. So here is the look right now. What a transformation already. So I am going to pick up my mom and my siblings and we're going to get coffee. I'm so excited. We're getting coffee bean, which I love. I really want a nice iced latte with oat milk. And then I have one more appointment today, but it's a therapy appointment. So that's more mental health. That's a mental glow up, not a physical glow up. So after that for today, I really want to go into an Urban Outfitters or a Brandy and pick out a couple pieces. Had no luck unfortunately trying to find some new clothes I have been wanting a pair of pink Birkenstocks the clogs for a while now but the ones I saw in store were like very pale pink and I want something more pink so I decided not to get anything I'm really trying to practice in 2024 only buying things that I really want my favorite purchases by far are the ones that are thought out and the ones where I've been wanting something for a long time and I finally treat myself so I didn't really see anything I loved so I didn't get anything, and it feels good, kind of. Not really, I wish I found something I really liked. Okay. 